A topological quantum field theory or topological field theory or TQFT is a quantum field theory which computes topological invariants. Although TQFTs were invented by physicists, they are also of mathematical interest, being related to, among other things, knot theory and the theory of four manifolds in algebraic topology, and to the theory of moduli spaces in algebraic geometry. Donaldson, Jones, Witten, and Kontsevich have all won Fields medals for mathematical work related to topological field theory. In condensed matter physics, topological quantum field theories are the low-energy effective theories of topologically ordered states, such as fractional quantum Hall states, string net condensed states, and other strongly correlated quantum liquid states. In dynamics, all continuous time dynamical systems, with and without noise, are Witten type TQFTs and the phenomenon of the spontaneous breakdown of the corresponding topological supersymmetry encompasses such well established concepts as chaos, turbulence, 1, f, and crackling noises, self organized criticality, etc. Topic Overview In a topological field theory, the correlation functions do not depend on the metric of spacetime. This means that the theory is not sensitive to changes in the shape of spacetime. If the spacetime warps or contracts, the correlation functions do not change. Consequently, they are topological invariants. Topological field theories are not very interesting on the flat Minkowski spacetime used in particle physics. Minkowski space can be contracted to a point, so a TQFT on Minkowski space computes only trivial topological invariants. Consequently, TQFTs are usually studied on curved spacetimes, such as, for example, Riemann surfaces. Most of the known topological field theories are defined on spacetimes of dimension less than 5. It seems that a few higher dimensional theories exist, but they are not very well understood. Quantum gravity is believed to be background independent in some suitable sense, and TQFTs provide examples of background independent quantum field theories. This has prompted ongoing theoretical investigation of this class of models. Caveat, it is often said that TQFTs have only finitely many degrees of freedom. This is not a fundamental property. It happens to be true in most of the examples that physicists and mathematicians study, but it is not necessary. A topological sigma model with target infinite dimensional projective space, if such a thing could be defined, would have countably infinitely many degrees of freedom. Topic. Specific models The known topological field theories fall into two general classes, Schwartz-type TQFTs and Witten-type TQFTs. Witten TQFTs are also sometimes referred to as cohomological field theories. See Schwartz 2000. Topic: Schwartz type TQFTs. 
In Schwartz type TQFTs, the correlation functions or partition functions of the system are computed by the path integral of metric independent action functionals. For instance, in the BF model, the spacetime is a two dimensional manifold M. The observables are constructed from a two form F, an auxiliary scalar B, and their derivatives. The action which determines the path integral is S equals M B F display style S equals int underscore M B F the spacetime metric does not appear anywhere in the theory, so the theory is explicitly topologically invariant. The first example appeared in 1977 and is due to A. Schwartz. Its action functional is M A D A display style int underscore M a wedge da another more famous example is churn Simon's theory which can be used to compute not invariants in general partition functions depend on a metric but the above examples are shown to be metric independent topic Witten type TQFTs The first example of Witten type TQFTs appeared in Witten's paper in 1988, Witten 1988A, i.e., topological Yang Mills theory in four dimensions. Though its action functional contains the spacetime metric GAB, after a topological twist it turns out to be metric independent. The independence of the stress energy tensor TAB of the system from the metric depends on whether BRST operator is closed. Following Witten's example, a lot of examples are found in string theory. Witten type TQFTs arise if the following conditions are satisfied. 1. The action S display style S of the TQFT has a symmetry, i.e. if delta display style delta denotes a symmetry transformation e.g. a lie derivative then it holds delta s equals 0 display style delta s equals 0 2 the symmetry transformation is exact i.e. delta 2 equals 0 display style delta caret 2 equals 0 3 there are existing observables o 1 o n display style o underscore 1 dots o underscore n which satisfy delta o i equals 0 display style delta o underscore i equals 0 for all i element of 1 n Display style i in one dots n four. The stress energy tensor or similar physical quantities is of the form T alpha beta equals delta G 
alpha beta display style t caret alpha beta equals delta g caret alpha beta for an arbitrary tensor g alpha beta display style g caret alpha beta as an example linker 2015 given a two form field b display style b with the differential operator delta display style delta which satisfies delta 2 equals 0 display style delta caret 2 equals 0 then the action s equals m b delta b display style s equals int underscore m b wedge delta b has a symmetry if delta b delta b equals 0 display style delta b wedge delta b equals 0 since delta s equals m delta b delta b equals m delta b delta b plus m b delta 2 b equals 0 display style delta s equals int underscore m delta b wedge delta b equals int underscore m delta b wedge delta b plus int underscore m b wedge delta caret 2 b equals 0 Further, it holds under the condition that delta display style delta is independent on b display style b and acts similarly to a functional derivative delta delta b alpha beta s equals m delta delta b alpha beta b delta b plus m b Delta 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 B Alpha Beta B equals M Delta Delta B Alpha Beta B Delta B minus M Delta B Delta Delta B Alpha Beta B equals minus 
2 m delta b delta delta b alpha beta b display style frac delta delta b caret alpha beta s equals int underscore m frac delta delta b caret alpha beta b wedge delta b plus int underscore m b wedge delta frac delta delta b caret alpha beta b equals int underscore m frac delta delta b Carrot alpha beta b wedge delta b int underscore m delta b wedge frac delta delta b carrot alpha beta b equals minus two int underscore m delta b wedge frac delta delta b carrot alpha beta b. The expression delta Delta B Alpha Beta S Display style frac delta delta B carrot alpha beta S is proportional to Delta G Display style delta G with another two form G display style G now any averages of observables OI greater than equals D mu OI EIS display style equals in D mu O underscore I E carrot is for the corresponding Ha measure mu display style mu are independent on the geometric field B display style B and therefore topological delta delta B O I greater than equals D mu O I I delta 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 B S E I S D mu O I delta G E I S equals delta D mu O I G E I S equals zero display style frac delta delta B equals in D mu O underscore I I frac delta delta B she carrot is propto in D mu O underscore I delta G e carrot is equals delta in D mu O underscore I G e carrot is equals zero in the third equality it was used the Fact that delta O I equals delta S equals zero. Display style delta O underscore I equals delta S equals zero, and the invariance of the Ha measure under symmetry transformations. Since d mu o i g e i s display style int d mu o underscore i g e caret is is only a number, the Lie derivative applied on it vanishes. Topic: Mathematical formulations. Topic: The original Utia Siegel axioms. Utia suggested a set of axioms for topological quantum field theory, Utia 1988, which was inspired by Siegel's proposed axioms for conformal field theory. Afterday, Siegel's idea was summarized in Siegel 2001 and Witten's idea of the geometric meaning of supersymmetry, Witten 1982. Utia's axioms are constructed on gluing the boundary with differentiable topological or continuous transformation, while Siegel's are with conformal transformation. These axioms have been relatively useful for mathematical treatments of Schwartz type QFTs, although it isn't clear that they capture the whole structure of Witten type QFTs. 
The basic idea is that a TQFT is a functor from a certain category of cobordisms to the category of vector spaces. There are in fact two different sets of axioms which could reasonably be called the Uttier axioms. These axioms differ basically in whether or not they study a TQFT defined on a single fixed n-dimensional Riemannian, Lorentzian spacetime M or a TQFT defined on all n-dimensional spacetimes at once. Let λ be a commutative ring with 1 for almost all real world purposes we will have λ equals z, r or c. Uttier originally proposed the axioms of a topological quantum field theory TQFT in dimension d defined over a ground ring λ as following. A finitely generated lambda module Z sigma associated to each oriented closed smooth d-dimensional manifold sigma corresponding to the homotopy axiom. An element Z M element of Z M associated to each oriented smooth d plus one dimensional manifold with boundary M corresponding to an additive axiom. These data are subject to the following axioms. Four and five were added by Uttier. Z is functorial with respect to orientation, preserving diffeomorphisms of sigma and M. Z is involutory, i.e. Z sigma asterisk equals Z sigma asterisk where sigma asterisk is sigma with opposite orientation and Z sigma asterisk denotes the dual module. Z is multiplicative. Z phi. Topic. Lambda for the d dimensional empty manifold and z phi 1 for the d plus 1 dimensional empty manifold z m asterisk equals z m the hermitian axiom equivalently z m asterisk is the disjoint of z m remark if for a closed manifold M we view Z M as a numerical invariant, then for a manifold with boundary we should think of Z M element of Z M as a relative invariant. Let F, sigma sigma be an orientation preserving diffeomorphism, and identify opposite ends of sigma times I by F. This gives a manifold sigma f and our axioms imply z sigma f equals trace sigma f display style z sigma underscore f equals text trace sigma f where sigma f is the induced automorphism of z sigma remark for a manifold m with boundary sigma we can always form the double m sigma m display style m cup underscore sigma m caret asterisk which is a closed manifold the fifth shows that Z M Sigma M equals Z M two Display style Z M cup underscore Sigma M carrot asterisk equals Z M carrot two where on the right we compute the norm in the Hermitian possibly indefinite metric. Topic: The relation to physics. 
physically 2 plus 4 is related to relativistic invariance while 3 plus 5 is indicative of the quantum nature of the theory sigma is meant to indicate the physical space usually d topic 3 for standard physics and the extra dimension in sigma times i is imaginary time the space z m is the hilbert space of the quantum theory and a physical theory with a hamiltonian h will have a time evolution operator e or an imaginary time operator e minus th the main feature of topological QFTs is that H 0, which implies that there is no real dynamics or propagation. Along the cylinder σ i, however, there can be non trivial propagation or tunneling amplitudes from σ0 to σ1 through an intervening manifold M with M equals sigma zero sigma one display style partial M equals sigma underscore zero carrot asterisk cup sigma underscore one. This reflects the topology of M. If m equals sigma, then the distinguished vector z m in the Hilbert space z sigma is thought of as the vacuum state defined by m for a closed manifold m. The number z m is the vacuum expectation value. In analogy with statistical mechanics, it is also called the partition function. The reason why a theory with zero Hamiltonian can be sensibly formulated resides in the Feynman path integral approach to QFT. This incorporates relativistic invariance, which caters for general d plus one dimensional space times. And the theory is formally defined by writing down a suitable Lagrangian, a functional of the classical fields of the theory. A Lagrangian which involves only first derivatives in time formally leads to a zero Hamiltonian, but the Lagrangian itself may have non-trivial features which relate it to the topology of M. Topic: Utia's examples. In 1988, M. Utia published a paper in which he described many new examples of topological quantum field theory that were considered at that time. Utia 1988. It contains some new topological invariants and the new ideas, which are Casson invariant, Donaldson invariant, Gromov's theory, Floer homology and Jones-Witten's theory. <laughs> D equals zero In this case sigma consists of finitely many points. To a single point we associate a vector space V. Topic Z point and to n points the n fold tensor product Vn V V the symmetric group Sn acts on Vn. A standard way to get the quantum Hilbert space is to give a classical symplectic manifold or phase space and then quantize it. Let us extend Sn to compact Lie group G and consider integrable 
Orbits for which the symplectic structure comes from a line bundle then quantization leads to the irreducible representations V of G. This is the physical interpretation of the borel weyl theorem or the borel weyl bott theorem. The Lagrangian of these theories is the classical action holonomy of the line bundle. Thus topological QFTs with D equals zero relate naturally to the classical representation theory of Lie groups and symmetry groups. Equals Topic D equals one Topic we should consider periodic boundary conditions given by closed loops in a compact symplectic manifold X along two Witten 1982 holonomy round such loops used in the case of D. Zero as a Lagrangian is used to modify the Hamiltonian. For a closed surface M the invariant Z M of the theory is the number of pseudo-holomorphic maps F, M X in the sense of Gromov they are ordinary holomorphic maps if X is a Kala manifold. If this number becomes to infinite i.e. if there are moduli then we must fix further data on M. This can be done by picking some points π and then looking at holomorphic maps F, Mx with F pi constrained to lie on a fixed hyperplane. Witten 1988b has written down the relevant Lagrangian for this theory. Floer has given a rigorous treatment, i.e. Floer homology, based on Witten 1982 S. Morse theory ideas, for the case when the boundary conditions are the interval instead of periodic, the initial and end points of paths lie on two fixed Lagrangian submanifolds. This theory has been developed as Gromov Witten invariant theory. Another example is holomorphic conformal field theory. This might not be strictly topological quantum field theory at that time because Hilbert spaces are infinite dimensional. The conformal field theories are also related to compact Lie group G in which the classical phase consists of a central extension of the loop group Lg. Quantizing these produces the Hilbert spaces of the theory of irreducible projective representations of Lg. The group diff plus S1 now substitutes for the symmetric group and play an important role. The partition function in such theories depends on complex structure, it is not purely topological. Topic D equals two. Jones-Witten theory is the most important theory in this case. Here, the classical phase space associated to a closed surface sigma is the moduli space of flat G bundle over sigma. The Lagrangian is an integer multiple of the Chern-Simons function of a G connection on a three-manifold, which has to be framed. The integer multiple k, called the level, is a parameter of the theory and k infinity gives the classical limit. This theory can be naturally coupled with the d equals zero theory to produce a relative theory. The details have been described by Witten who shows that partition function for a framed link in the three-sphere is just the value of the Jones polynomial for a suitable root of unity. The theory can be defined over the relevant cyclotomic field. 
By considering Riemann surface with boundary, we can couple it to the d equals 1 conformal theory instead of coupling d. Topic 2 theory to d 0 This theory has been developed as the Jones-Witten theory and turned out to be the trigger binding the knot theory and the quantum theory topic d equals 3 Donaldson has defined integer invariant of smooth four manifolds by using moduli spaces of SU in Stantons. These invariants are polynomials on the second homology. Thus four manifolds should have extra data consisting of the symmetric algebra of H2, Witten 1988A, has produced a super-symmetric Lagrangian which formally reproduces the Donaldson theory. Witten's formula might be understood as an infinite-dimensional analog of the Gauss-Bonnet theorem. At a later date, this theory was further developed and became the cyberg witten gauge theory which reduces SU to U in N. Topic 2 D 4 Gauge Theory the Hamiltonian version of the theory has been developed by Floer in terms of the space of connections on a three-manifold. Floer uses the Chern-Simons function, which is the Lagrangian of the Jones-Witten theory to modify the Hamiltonian. For details, see Uttier 1988. Witten 1988A has also shown how one can couple the d. Topic <laughs> three and d. One theories together. This is quite analogous to the coupling between d. Topic <laughs> two and d. Zero in the Jones Witten theory. Now, it isn't considered on a fixed dimension but on all the dimensions at the same time, namely, topological field theory is viewed as a functor. The case of a fixed space time Let BORDM be the category whose morphisms are n-dimensional submanifolds of M and whose objects are connected components of the boundaries of such submanifolds. Regard two morphisms as equivalent if they are homotopic via submanifolds of M, and so form the quotient category HBORDM. The objects in HBORDM are the objects of BORDM, and the morphisms of HBORDM are homotopy equivalence classes of morphisms in BORDM. A TQFT on M is a symmetric monoidal functor from HB. BORDM to the category of vector spaces. Note that cobordisms can, if their boundaries match up, be sewn together to form a new bordism. This is the composition law for morphisms in the cobordism category. Since functors are required to preserve composition, this says that the linear map corresponding to a sewn-together morphism is just the composition of the linear map for each piece. There is an equivalence of categories between the category of two-dimensional topological quantum field theories and the category of commutative Frobenius algebras. Topic 
all n dimensional spacetimes at once. To consider all spacetimes at once, it is necessary to replace HBORDM by a larger category. So let Borden be the category of Bordisms, i.e. the category whose morphisms are n-dimensional manifolds with boundary, and whose objects are the connected components of the boundaries of n-dimensional manifolds. Note that any n minus one dimensional manifold may appear as an object in Borden, as above. Regard two morphisms in Borden as equivalent if they are homotopic, and form the quotient category H B O R D N. Borden is a monoidal category under the operation which takes two bordisms to the bordism made from their disjoint union. A TQFT on n-dimensional manifolds is then a functor from HBORDN to the category of vector spaces, which takes disjoint unions of bordisms to the tensor product of them. For example, for 1 plus 1 dimensional bordisms, two dimensional bordisms between one dimensional manifolds, the map associated with a pair of pants gives a product or coproduct, depending on how the boundary components are grouped, which is commutative or co-commutative, while the map associated with a disk gives a count trace or unit scalars, depending on grouping of boundary, and thus 1 plus 1 dimension TQFTs correspond to Frobenius algebras. Furthermore, we consider simultaneously four-dimensional, three-dimensional and two-dimensional manifolds that are related by the above bordisms, then obtain ample and important examples. Topic development At a later time looking at the development of topological quantum field theory we should consider that it has many applications to cyborg witten gauge theory, topological string theory, the relationship between knot theory and quantum theory, and quantum knot invariants. Furthermore, it has provided objects of great interest to both mathematics and physics. Also of important recent interest are non-local operators in TQFT, Gukov and Kapustin 2013. If string theory is viewed as the fundamental, then non-local TQFTs can be viewed as non-physical models that provide a computationally efficient approximation to local string theory. <laughs> Witten-type TQFTs and dynamical systems All stochastic partial differential equations SDEs, the models for everything in nature above the scale of quantum degeneracy and coherence, are essentially Witten-type TQFTs. All SDEs possess topological or BRST supersymmetry Delta Display style Delta which in the operator representation of stochastic dynamics is the exterior derivative naturally commutative with the stochastic evolution operator defined as the pullback induced by the phase space diffeomorphisms specified by the SDE and averaged over the noise configurations. This supersymmetry has the meaning of the preservation of the continuity of the phase space by continuous flows and the phenomenon of the spontaneous breakdown of this supersymmetry by a global non-supersymmetric ground state encompasses such well-established physical concepts as chaos, turbulence, 1, f and crackling noises, self-organized criticality etc. Topological sector of the theory for any SDE can be recognized as a Witten type TQFT. Topic: 
Topic See also Quantum topology Topological defect Topological entropy in physics Topological order Topological quantum number Topological quantum computer Topological string theory Arithmetic topology Cobordism hypothesis <laughs>